on to Q. Right. Good morning, and welcome to the Badger Bulletin. I am Stacy. Wait, am I supposed to change that to my name? You think? Take two. You know we're live, right? No. Yes. Just do the intro. Good morning, and I and welcome to the. <sighs> Good morning, and welcome to the Badger Bulletin. I am Sta- Brianna. And I am Layla. We have an exciting show for you today, but first, of the announcements. Mr. Schneebly's fourth period driver's ed class will be meeting in the nurse's office until the students are out of traction. Who knew that it takes more than two floors for parachutes to open? Please steer clear of parking lot B. The monkeys have become very aggressive. Also, will the owner of a maroon station wagon please stop by the office to pick up your insurance payments? Thank you, Brianna. Now let's look at the lunch menu. Today's lunch is some sort of chicken product. Have you ever wondered how they grow and process chickens? I just toured this chicken factory and let me tell you, the things I saw would turn your stomach. I'm glad I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch today and I don't have to eat school lunch. First off, the poor creatures are kept in a cage where they hide their own- No, no, no. Wait, wait, they should know. I mean, how long does it take to get a new pencil? stacy has been gone a week. I know. Oh, we're back. Thank you for the lunch menu, Mike. Next up, Julie's going to take it away live at the 7-Eleven. Yesterday evening, an unidentified male entered a 7-Eleven store and approached the cashier with a bag of bagels he stole from the store. He opened the bag, pulled out a bagel, and proposed to her with it. When she declined his proposal, he then turned violent and beat her until she was unconscious. He then fled the scene. Video footage shows him wearing a brown polo with khaki pants and lime green Crocs. The woman is in stable condition, but will never look at bagels the same way again. If anyone sees the suspect, please notify the police immediately. Thank you. I found one. I found one what? A replacement pencil. I had to take the ferry to the mainland, and then I had to take the train to Pennsylvania, but I finally found a pencil, and it's perfect. I'm sure it was. <laughs> And we're back. Thank you, Jolie. Oh, right, the new show. Good morning and welcome to the Badger Bulletin. I am Stacy. We already did that. Oh, where are we in the program? Letters to God. Oh, here we are. Today we introduce a new segment, Letters to God. Welcome to Letters with God. I am St. Peter. And I'm God. So, Pete, wait, you don't mind me calling you Pete, do you? No. Nah. Okay, so Pete, what do we have today? Our first letter is from Foxy Minecraft Lover 42069. Dear God, I really like this girl and I really want to talk to her, but the problem is that I'm too shy and I don't think she even notices me. Well, she notices me, but I don't think she gives me any second thought. It's actually not really the fact that I'm shy, it's just the fact that I literally cannot talk to her. You see, I have a weird problem. Every time I try to talk to a girl I really like, I talk like an auctioneer. <clears throat> the words all come out of my mouth so quickly and I can't stop them. Every time I go up to her, I open my mouth and the auction starts and it goes like this. Hey there, how are you? Good, great. Anyway, would you like to go on a date with me for $5, $5? Anybody go for $5? We got a $5, $6, $6 for the lady in the back sold. She looks uncomfortable and I run away in embarrassment. Any words of advice? Signed, Anthony. Tony, I think I've got just the solution to your little problem. Lower the prices a bit, man. I mean, what girl wants to pay six dollars just to go on a date with you? I mean, I wouldn't. Two, three dollars, three fifty on a good date? Let's just say three dollars. Then maybe she'd be less uncomfortable. I think you're just asking a lot out of a girl you barely know, that's all. And maybe don't run away either, because, you know, with my limited experience of, you know, working with humans, they're creatures of mimicry, you know, monkey see, monkey do. I mean, they did evolve from a common ancestor after all. So, maybe if you don't run away, she won't run away either. Just a thought. I hope that helps. This has been God, signing off. Back to you, Layla. Oh, my precious. That's just creepy. Let's go to the cartoon. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi, my name is Mark. My name is Kenster. Nice to meet you. What the duck? Who are you? Where were you when the murder happened? I was at a Taco Bell, getting tacos. Stop lying. Well I was. I can tell you're lying. Cheerio. This is stupid. I'm leaving. What the hell? I told the interrogator I was done talking to him because he kept saying it was me without any proof. He won't let me prove him innocent. I was told to arrest you and put you in custody. Mate. Sorry. What the fudge? Come on, I'm here to break you out. Okay. I know you didn't kill that man. So you agree with me and understand? He can't leave. Well, he is innocent. How? Ah uh, ha ha, come you figure it out. I'm the one who killed Van Ness. Hands in the air, now. I want to apologize for the miscommunication. It's okay. I guess I'm glad we figured this out. Well, that didn't make any sense. So, Allison, do you have a movie review for us this week? Uh, Allison couldn't get the beard off, so I'm filling in for her. Whatever. So this week I thought it'd be a good idea to pull out a movie called Twilight. I was expecting it to be about the times of day, like dawn or dusk, but no. It never happened. It's a movie about vampires. Vampires of all things, can you believe that? And on top of that, they sparkle. What kind of vampires sparkle? Don't even get me started on the werewolves. I kept watching the movie, expecting it to be about the times of day because I wanted to learn about the times of day, but it never happened. I wasted my life watching that movie. I'm never watching it again. And she chose Edward over Jacob. Have That's you... my life wasted. Have you ever heard the phrase, you can't judge a book by its cover? I thought this was a movie review. Oh, never mind. Chris, tell us about the sports. Action. This is Christian with the sports. This week, Springdale won in the rematch with Dale Springs. The Wolverines got the first strike in the game, but the Badgers pulled through in the last frame of the game, scoring the most underwater goals with hula hoops. One of Springdale's horsemen, Fudge Lionel, broke his ankle while trying to aim at the inner basket and is now in the hospital for the next week. That's all for now. Until next week, go Badgers. Thank you, Chris. Now Sarah with the weather. Today's weather will be uh, sunny and warm with a chance of hurricanes. High degree in 95 degrees and a low 18 degrees tonight. Tomorrow we will have 10 feet of rain and the next day we'll be having a drop. So save some of the water up and hopefully you have boats. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Well, that sounds quite a week. Have a good day, Springdale.